short division. This time we're dividing by a two digit number. Hopefully you've already seen the video on how to divide by a single digit number because we're going to be following the same rules as you can see down the bottom here. First I want to go through a common mistake that children and others make when they're dividing by a two digit number. Let's see what a lot of children do first. They start with 26. They understand they're dividing by 26, so they think, how many 26s are there in 41? So they work that out. And they realize you can only fit one 26 in 41. Because if it was two, then 26 times two, would be 52 and 52 is too big so they realize it must be 26 times 1 so there's only one 26 they can fit in 41 so they write one here when they do that they have lined everything up incorrectly this will cause them to have more problems by the time they get to the end. We're going to see that as we follow through. So then what they do is they think how much is left over from 41. So 41, what's left over from the one group of 26 that we can make and what's left over. Doing a little takeaway here, that's can't do it so we're going to get one put it there 11 take away 6 is 5. 3 take away 2 is 1, so it's 15. So they put 15 next to... Now this could be a problem. Where do we put the 15? Do we put it here? See, children are very confused then many times once they've made this first mistake. Let's see what should have happened. So let's get rid of this mistake and this. Let's start again. Let's do it the correct way. How many 26s are there in what's the very first thing? Four. This, uh, this might seem very strange. It seems so obvious. You can't make a group of 26 out of four. But that is why we need to follow our rules. And what do we do when we can't do it? We must put a zero first. If we can't do it, what else do we have to do? We have to join it together. Now, how many 26 is going to 41? As we already know, we can't do two groups of 26. That would make 52. We've only got 41. So we can only make one group of 26. So we put the one here. Now what's left over, we've already worked it out. It's 15. Where do we put the 15? Well, we know we're finished with the 41, so the 15 goes here, next to the next digit. Now, how many 26s are there in 156? Now this could be a little bit difficult to work out in your head. So we're gonna use some estimating. 26 is about, it's close to 30. Now 30 times what is going to make 156? What can help us instead of 156 is just to get a rounded number for this as well. So this is about 160 or 150. I'm going to use 150 because I've realized that if I use 150, 150 is in the 30 times table. How many 30s do we need to make 150? Well, how many 3s do you need to make 15? You need 5. So, that means you need 5 30s to make 150. So this possibly could be a 5, but we need to know 
whether that is really true for the exact numbers now. Because we used numbers that were rounded, that were approximately the same as these. So let's let's try 26 times 5. And let's see how close we get to 156. 5 times 6 is 30. Leave the units there. 10s go in the next column. 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 3 is 13. That makes 130. Hmm. So we can get 5 26s from 156, but we still have quite a leftover if we do that, because 5 26s is only 130, but actually we've got 156 here. Can we fit one more 26? Well, let's see. 130 plus one more 26, what does it make? We can do this mentally, can't we? It's going to make 156, which is exactly our number there. So we will not have anything left over. And it's not 5, because we've added one more. Yep, so it's actually six groups of 26. So we want to put a six up there. There is nothing left over, so there is no remainder to put at the end.